What's up guys? Um, so in today's video, I was actually looking forward to re uh, recording a video of Tom Ford's Black Liqueur. So I came over to Sephora, but they don't have it in stock yet. Um, so I went ahead and just checked out the other stuff that I haven't smelled yet, like Spice Bombs Black Leather or Dark Leather. Um, I revisited Killian's Old Fashioned. Um, let me think what else and Oud Mineral by Tom Ford kind of just want to revisit that one I've smelled it a few times already but I just wanted to go ahead and visit it back just because every time I've smelled it I'm liking it more um, I kind of just wanted to spray that one on skin and see how it went um, and then I got both Nor extremes on my arm so I got Eau de Parfum and Parfum um, Eau de Parfum I've been planning on purchasing but before I purchased it, I wanted to make sure that I did enjoy that one over the, um, over the part bomb. So, um, yeah. So let's go ahead and get into it on my, the back of my hand. I do have Killian's Old Fashioned. It doesn't smell as crazy as it did when I first, when I first tried it out in Seattle. Um, I'm not sure if it was in one of the sample sizes. Um, but this, you know, one of those sampler things and it didn't smell how it smells now. Um, but now it smells like, or maybe this is the dry down. I've had it on for maybe like 45 minutes an hour, maybe. Um, it smells like, it smells kind of like apple brandy. Um. It smells kind of like a little bit like apple brandy and a little bit of Loire Verte. Um, I know some people say it smells like apple brandy. I do see that, and I do, see, but I, I see it mixed with Loire Verte. But my experience with Loire Verte is um, the sample that uh, I forgot your name, Neil. Jeez, I don't know. Why I kept thinking about like. Something else, but Neil sent me a sample of uh, Lord of Eighty. So that's my experience with it. I've worn it maybe twice now. Apple brandy, I did have and I got rid of. This is like a mix of both. I don't even get the whiskey anymore. Um, but yeah, that's what it dries down to. Next is Spice Bombs Dark Leather. I can definitely see why people are angry about it not smelling like dark leather or even dark. Um, it smells like... It smells fruitier. Um, it kind of smells like a very... This is going to be a weird one. It smells like... Um, it smells like ombre leather. But like a... Maybe like a... Let's see, I'm trying to think about the best way to say this. Um, maybe like ombre leather. Like if like if another fragrance house was trying to make their own ombre leather. This is what it comes across as to me. Because um, I can see this being compared to like ombre leather. Maybe not the Eau de Parfum, but the Parfum. Somewhat. It's like a like a bad cousin or whatever like a bad version of it next is Oud Mineral what happens every time with Oud Mineral is that like I don't get much from it like the first time I smelled it I was like ugh next time I smelled it sprayed it I was like it smells pretty nice now I have to like actually look to see where it it's at, I know where I sprayed it somewhere on my arm. It's like I get like a like a light hint of it right now. Um, but I can barely smell it. Um, I, I did spray twice. So I think the atomizer was broken on that one also because it kind of just shot in my arm and kind of just like dripped down the side of my arm. 
Um, and then lastly, what did I spray on here? I sprayed something on it. Let me think. I sprayed. Uh, I don't remember what I sprayed on here. Let's see. I got old fashioned. I think it was just one that I was like, oh, I need to try this. And I sprayed it on myself. But I'm trying to think of what it was. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. But yeah, then when it comes to Tom Ford Noir Extreme Parfum and Auto Parfum, Parfum is definitely popping off the skin. Well, Auto Parfum is barely there. Um, and I'm not gonna lie. Noir Extreme Parfum to me smells like Enigma, but I would say it's the better one of the two, um, which I don't know if that's been compared before, but that's what I think it smells like. It smells like Enigma with less of that fizzy opening bull, you know, that I, I really don't enjoy. I would say it's the better of the two. I'd like out of Enigma and out of... Uh, Enigma and uh, what's the other one? Enigma and Noir Extreme. But Noir Extreme, oh, the Parfum, I can barely smell. I did two sprays also. Each one of these, I did two sprays. While well, the Parfum is popping. So, if that's something you're looking for, like longevity wise or like just projection wise, the Parfum definitely projects more. When I could smell it earlier, I was preferring the Eau de Parfum over the Parfum. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that it doesn't last that long. Um, is it worth a purchase? I would still probably buy it. Um, I could care less about how long it lasts. I'll just spray a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I do think the Eau de Parfum smells better than the Parfum. In my opinion. Not, let's see if I can figure out what the hell I sprayed over here. Let's see, so I just realized that I don't know if I checked out that if they had the Superlera uh, Chanel. Let's see. So, I'm trying to think. So, I went to the Tom Ford section first, then I walked over, sprayed Apple Brand, uh, not Apple Brandy. Damn, I, sp I sprayed old fashioned on my wrist or on my the back of my hand. And then I went ahead, wandered over, found the rest of the Tom Fords, sprayed Oud Mineral on here, sprayed Saw Spice Mom, sprayed it on there. This is what I sprayed. I sprayed. Uh, I sprayed Jazz Club on you. That's what I sprayed. I don't remember Jazz Club smelling like this, and it smells pretty kind of weak. Um, I kind of just want to smell Jazz Club on me, just because I know Ross has been having crazy deals of like you get like a big ass uh, refill bottle with a thirty mil bottle for like sixty bucks or something. So I was spraying on me to see if it was worth trying to find that. Um, I could care less about the Jazz Club, honestly. So out of these, the ones I would consider purchasing are... It's gotten to the point that I really don't care about purchasing anything. Um, it's more like, well, like the things I really do want. Uh, besides that, I could care less about post, you know, of purchasing anything else. It's gotten to the point that I think I do need a sample before I purchase something. Um, Cause I'm, I haven't been impressed by much recently, so. Um, all the Parfum, Noir Extreme might still be a purchase. Um, 
old fashioned will probably not be a purchase. Unless I find it for like a really good price. Spice bomb dark leather is not gonna be a purchase. Oud Mineral, I don't know. That's one of the weird ones. If I find it really cheap, then I'll, I'll probably buy it. But I know right now, I think Sephora's having this thing that you can buy like a kit of samples. Um, so I think it's like a whole bunch of different samples and then you get to pick one and you get a bottle for free. Um, it's like 80 bucks. That might be the way I would go about getting Oud Mineral. Um, that's, a, that's a maybe. Jazz Club would not be a purchase. Uh, but yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. I literally am in my car making this video just because I am probably not going to go home anytime soon. I'm not going to be able to record it at home with having the scent on my skin. So, uh, what have I been up to? I went fishing. I will not post a picture of it uh, because I don't feel like editing this video. Um, so I will not be posting a, a picture up on the screen of the fishes I caught when I was, when well, that fish I caught when I was in Florida. Um, I did go fishing in Palm Bay, um, on my dad's boat. Um, I caught a, I believe it was, I caught a trout. And I caught a, I forgot what the other fish was called. But, yeah, I caught both of those fish with the old reliable uh, lizard bait, plastic lizard bait. Um, kind of, I kind of felt like getting back into fishing, so I was just at the mall to get. Um, well, I kind of wanted to see if the Tom Ford black liqueur was there. Um, wasn't there, so I went to Dick's, bought a fishing rod, just because the one I bought yesterday broke yesterday. Uh, Cause I don't know if it was a big fish that I was trying to reel in and it broke the reel, or um, I was pulling in something else. I don't know. Um, and I was fishing on the Niagara River, but um, yeah, that's what I'm up to right now. My days off, like just doing something fun um, and catching those two fish in Florida. They kind of. I used to fish as a kid and I kind of want to get back into it a little bit. Not as, you know, crazy, but uh, definitely just want to get back into it. It's fun, especially, in, you know, I, I live so close to the Niagara River that I might as well just buy a rod and go back there every once in a while um, when I have the time. But yeah, please let me know what you guys think of these fragrances that I have on me. I smell crazy in here in my car. This is actually my new little car. I don't know if you know it's, uh 2008 Subaru a little beat up but it's a nice little beat up car um, I think I mentioned it in one of my videos that I sold my Mustang but uh, I'm not sure but yeah happy with this little car and if you guys can go check out my website it's killingreels.com you'll see my photography stuff um, make sure you go down on the side um, Hit the fragrance collection and you can purchase some fragrances on my website probably gonna get a better deal than most other discounters out there so i definitely say check it out um it's probably already too late to promo this just because it's how uh how late in the video it is and everybody already probably clicked off but yeah let me know what you guys think about these fragrances let me know if you guys have tried old fashioned yet this is my second time trying it i think it came out it smells better the second time trying it um but it's still not purchase worthy i would purchase apple brandy um i think i prefer apple brandy over it and i probably prefer that one i probably prefer old fashioned over laura verte so it probably goes angel share apple brandy old fashioned um the last one is laura verte that's my order of those Killian and that Killian collection. I think there is two more in there in that collection, but I don't I haven't smelled them. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. And let me know what you guys think if you guys prefer the Noir Extreme Parfum or Eau de Parfum. Right now, I'm kind of leaning Eau de Parfum. 
but as the parfum dries out a little bit i'm kind of enjoying the parfum so we'll see i might have to do this again try it out again and uh, i'll go from there so yeah let me know what you guys think please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one have a good one